It's Wednesday, November 30th, 2011. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com and it's time to get loaded. Spotify, the online music service that has become popular with Facebook users, is expected to announce that it will have apps. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that the service will open itself up to programmers to create different apps for the service, such as one that will display lyrics to the song that is playing, or one that lists concert info for favorite artists. It's just another weapon in Spotify's quest to crush the competition like RDO and MOG. The Federal Communications Commission released a report that bashed the proposed $39 billion merger between AT&T and T-Mobile. The FCC's report said the deal would lead to huge job losses, lessen the competition, and thereby hurt consumers with less innovation and higher prices. The FCC also accused AT&T and T-Mobile of making misleading statements about how good the merger would be. This blow to the deal comes on top of the lawsuit filed by the Department of Justice to stop the merger. The personal photo sharing app called Path has gotten an update and it's evolved to more of a mobile tool to blog your daily adventures and share your current actions and locations with close friends. Instead of just sharing photos and videos, Path also lets users share thoughts, current locations, music you're listening to on your music player or even if you're asleep or awake. And there's even the option to have the app automatically update for you without ever doing anything. Are you visiting a new place? Well, the app knows and creates a location update. It sounds kind of disturbing, but it's meant to be a social network with only the closest people in your life. The cutest printer in the universe has been invented. It's called Little Printer, and smaller than a bedside alarm clock, it prints out lists and newspaper articles in the same paper a store uses for receipts. Using a smartphone app, you tell the printer what you want to spit out, like the daily news reports, or your to-do list, or games and puzzles. The company behind it, Berg, has partnered with Foursquare, The Guardian, Nike, and Google. It doesn't take ink, it's a special receipt paper that changes color when it gets heated up. No price announced yet, but it's supposed to come out next year. The voice-controlled personal assistant Siri is only available on the latest iPhone, but Android users can download their own assistant in an app called Cluzy. The talking digital assistant is free and it answers questions similar to Siri. Cluzy can help find a nearby restaurant, tell you the weather forecast, read email and text, and searches for online deals that might match your tastes. You have a meeting at 12 p.m. and must leave by 1.30 to make it to your doctor's appointment. I have already mailed your health report to the doctor. Cluzy is the latest voice command app to mimic Siri in the Android marketplace. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Curry for CNET.com, and you just been loaded.